the same It's more than a shame Now more than ever I thought we'd grow old with you We watch the blood you shed too And it's been a lonely place Without you Hey John Who cares what they say and more to us any day Forever and ever Hey John, who cares what they say You meant more to us any day Forever and ever We have just finished watching Dear John, the latest music video from Bobby Cole. And Bobby Cole is here with us today. Bobby Cole, welcome. And uh, tell us, uh, John Lennon, how has he inspired you and your music career? Well, it probably started when I was really young, too young to even know who the Beatles were, mm -hmm. probably the age of three or four when they first came over here. And I was in my kitchen in Newark, New Jersey. Uh -huh. And everybody had one of those clock radios uh, on a shelf somewhere. Uh -huh. And I remember hearing a Beatles song come on the radio, and I said to myself, even at that age, it just doesn't sound like any other music that I hear coming off that radio. Mm -hmm. And from that moment on, I think I was hooked, and every song that came out subsequently by them uh, just got better and better. And from that moment on, I knew I was a Beatles fan. If you can remember, what was that song you heard? On the radio that day. Yeah, it was She Loves You. Mm -hmm. um, and what's what's great about it, even to this day, uh, even though the world's so different, is that when it does come on the radio and you don't expect it to, it can knock you off your feet. I personally think their music is timeless. When you hear it, you can hear it every day. It still sounds fresh, new, very exciting. Uh, the opening guitar for A Hard Day's Night, 
Uh, I, I have to admit, it still uh, sends chills down my spine. Or it, goosebumps. Just, or goosebumps uh, up Take my spine. Uh, <laughs> chills go down, goosebumps go up. Yeah. Uh, Not in my book. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, read his book. It's fascinating, <laughs> all about goosebumps and chills. <laughs> Chill Wells. Jen Chill Wells. Uh, We're getting down the wrong track. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk to us about Dear John. How did oh, this wow. come about? Well, Dear John came about uh, last September. I was transferring VHS tapes from my friend Dave, who had uh, a ton of tapes, actually. And one of them was of the week that John was uh, killed in Manhattan. And I had never seen it. And matter of fact, I never even knew it existed. And when I was transferring it and watching it for the first time, it was a full tape of six hours, but it was just maybe one hour of live footage outside the Dakota in Central Park. And you get to see people as it happened. You know, it's very rare. And uh, if you looked into the crowd, you could see nobody had cameras back then because nobody could afford them. But Dave had one. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad he did because he has some great stuff uh, on this tape that it, it's not all the greatest quality, but there's enough of it to use uh, that I did use in this video, I think. And this was all raw footage, yeah. nothing was edited. You're watching this, this comes on, and you are in oh, awe I was a at mess. this point. Sure. I was, I was a mess, because it really brought that week and that day back. The following week was just uh, turmoil everywhere yeah. for uh, music fans, John Lennon fans. It was, uh, it was a very uh, dark, week and a week to remember it's the way he died i think that really hurt more than anything else if he if he contracted cancer or had a heart attack you know you could sort of accept that right. like when george harrison died a few years ago of cancer it's more uh, of an acceptability but you know the way he died just wasn't fair you are quite right about that um so you watch this video and you say hey you know what i, I want the world to know how i feel about john lennon yeah, and I uh, decided to write a song about it, and I, it was either that night or the night before. I'd have to actually go back and look, because I do date everything. Um, it went from writing a song about him, which has been done before, but then I decided to write a letter to him, mm -hmm. uh, make it a little more personal, mm -hmm. and just to let him know, if he could know, <laughs> that he's missed. It's just that simple. And basically, in the video, we see you're actually walking towards the Dakota, and you deliver this letter. I deliver the letter, and to, and to be on that spot, it, it does give you chills, without a doubt. Yeah. It's a very ominous uh, place. Well, it's an excellent video, and you have an excellent voice. Your music is wonderful. Oh. Yes. I suggest everybody uh, pick up Bobby's uh, CDs. He has two out right now, one called Between Two Worlds, the other one called Cycles. Now, for now, if somebody would like to have Dear John in their collection, how would they go about getting it? Yes, you have to go to cdbaby.com. Uh, it's a digital download only. And uh, I do plan on recording another album later on this year, and Dear John will be included on that. But for now, digital download only, cdbaby.com. Type in Bobby Cole, and you'll be directed towards Dear John. Excellent. And go to Bobby's website. You can catch him live. He's playing in the, usually the North uh, Jersey area, New Jersey. And uh, come see him. He, he puts on a fabulous show. He's a wonderful singer and uh, entertainer. Thank you very much, Bobby Cole. Thank you very much. And, of course, peace always, as John Lennon would say. That's right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.